The world's driest desert is now turning green, but it's not from machines or technology, but instead it's from a very unique herd of cows and goats doing something totally revolutionary. Although livestock are normally the cause of desertification, here they're doing the opposite, because what used to be an eroded, drying desert mountain range is now covered in trees and thriving vegetation. It's all because they're using an innovative new farming technique that's so effective, it's even making it rain more in the desert. It's actually changing how the world farms livestock. And their story will change everything you thought you knew about livestock, deserts, and farming. We are here in the Mexican desert to bring you a message of hope. In one of the hottest deserts in the world, there is a man who has a very special way of communicating with a herd of goats. And it's changing the future of a dying desert. Goats' insatiable appetite and agility has had some significant effects on the environment. Goats have been a leading cause of desertification due to their ability to eat everything in the landscape, consuming vegetation faster than it can regenerate, and at the same time their hooves cause damage by compacting the soil when they graze, reducing soil's ability to absorb water or grow plants, which leads to exposed earth and erosion. But just as destructive as they can be, there's actually ways that goats can be extremely beneficial and in some cases they can even turn the desert green. This is Mickey. He has a very unique way of communicating with a very special herd of goats because Mickey manages a herd of goats on a ranch that's demonstrating some of the most revolutionary ways to transform dying deserts into green fertile land, changing the way humans farm and manage landscapes. This is what the land used to look like. Decades of cattle ranching had set the desert on a course of terminal decline. Excessive numbers of livestock overate the vegetation, preventing new trees and plants from growing. Their hooves had also compacted the soil so water couldn't be absorbed into the ground. This means when it rained year after year, more of the land was being washed away, creating these endless gullies. But for the last eight years, the trees and shrubs have had a chance to grow back the ecosystem is being restored. This is the goat house and enclosure where the farm's herd of charming goats are kept. These goats are producing milk, which the farm makes several award-winning cheeses with. Goats and goats cheeses have a long tradition in this area, which is why the farm is demonstrating ways to keep goats so that they help to regenerate the environment as well as to diversify local income by producing different types of cheeses that are not traditionally made in this region. This is an important part of the farm's education and outreach initiative to help the local farming population by providing information, training and logistics so local farmers can increase their revenue and reduce their environmental impact. For the last seven years, the ranch has been working with two different breeds, the Nubian goats, which are very common on ranches in this region, which are characterized by large, pendulous ears and a convex profile. They produce a high volume of milk and they are very adapted to the climate, as well as the heat and the forage that is native here. This ranch has also started mixing the genes of the Nubian goats with an alpine breed. This is to give it a higher percentage of fat in the milk. Most of the cheeses here are based on the fat content, which they have been increasing by introducing alpine goats to the mix with the genes of the highly desert adapted Nubian goats. In the first four years, they started with artificial insemination, and now they have their own males who they're using to impregnate the next generation of milking goats. The key in terms of diet for these goats is diversification. Firstly, they graze daily on the ranch land where there is a broad range of seasonal native food sources for them to eat. Secondly, they feed forage that is grown here on the ranch from trees and plants, which are tolerant to the heat and consume a low amount of water. A good example is this Moringa. Moringa is a superfood from South Asia. It grows quickly and doesn't need a lot of water. Moringa's nutritious leaves and pods help to produce nutritious and rich milk. The goats also eat hay made from alfalfa, and sometimes the goats are also fed grains, which they buy from the outside. 20 goats are milked every day, twice a day. 
which produces approximately 80 liters of milk a day. The milk is preserved in cool tanks at four degrees Celsius to begin the process of pasteurization and elaboration of the cheese. We were lucky enough to try some of the cheeses which have won several awards here in Mexico. This is Mickey. He is in charge of the goat operation as well as the milking and the goats in general. Mickey personally takes the goats out once or twice a day depending on the season, which means Mickey selects different areas for the goats to graze when they go out. This is so they don't overgraze in the same locations. After the goats have grazed in an area, that particular area has a resting time from grazing so that the vegetation can restore and grow back. This way, Mickey can ensure they always graze in a different spot and he can keep them moving so they don't overgraze or damage the soil in that area. These walks are a great opportunity for the goats to exhibit their natural behaviors. They get to climb up the trees, eat bark and basically eat whatever they feel like. The goats auto-regulate themselves. If they find a certain bark that has a mineral that they lack, they will go for that bark. If they find a pod that's super high in protein, they will look for that. It's like having a natural buffet of high quality feed. This in turn affects the quality of the milk. Once they are done, the herd leads the way back to the ranch to be let back into the enclosure. Mickey and his goats have an understanding. Goats are highly intelligent. And Mickey, who's a local ranchero from this region, has developed his own way of communicating with the goats over many years. He does this by whistling to the animals to give them directions when he takes them out for grazing. Mickey told us it's not something he was taught or saw other people doing. He independently began doing it to communicate with these goats. And it seems to be working really well. Thanks for watching and make sure to check out the other episodes in this series and get yourself some free eBooks from our website. The link's in the description. And don't forget to like and subscribe.